A little over a year ago, I put together this generator. It's called Dividers. And I was never really pleased with it. If it came up in the forums and all, I would let people have it if they needed to use it. It was quite easy to use. You could just drag these controls around and set up the dividers. You had these old background areas if you needed them, or you could just fade them out and stack your videos behind or even on top because this makes a good background for a cropped or resized clip. The reason why I wasn't really pleased with this is because you can rotate this like this and as soon as you do then the on-screen controls are you still have to move them left and right or up and down and it feels weird when you're doing it and it's a little difficult to actually have to deal with it. So the subject came up again recently and I revisited this and let me make a copy over here and I'm just going to reset this. This is a default view. Now you still have the controls to slide back and forth, up and down. If you need just one, two, three, or four, you can just drag these around. It's really easy. You can animate them. You still have the backgrounds. Uh, they'll animate in and out just whatever you need. This makes a great background for titling. And you can still turn this. I separated the rotation on screen control and there's a little play in it where you can move it out of the way if you need to but you cannot move it out of this little box that it's in. But now when you rotate the background you'll notice that the on screen controls stay right where they're supposed to be with the lines and this is much easier to use. So this is ready for prime time. So for a layout like this one of the easiest things to do uh, let me just squeeze another clip in here underneath and let's say I want to put the, this clip in this little division so and I'll just clear out this one so uh, the blue and you can change colors too. So, you know, if you need something like that. Anyway, so I have this in the foreground. And what I want to do is cut it to this section. So I'll go back, reduce the opacity. Okay, the best thing to do is just add the four point mask. Uh, where There you are, mask, just plain old mask. Add it to the clip and pin the corners along the divider. Okay, and so now you have this cropped into place at an angle. Anyway, that's an idea for how to use this on an angle. And there's one other feature. Let me just kill this clip here. Uh, that I want to talk about real quick and that is, let me reset this, uh, you have the option of having this one free uh, from the bottom but uh, if you select lock vertical to lower then you can just lock them all up into a cross. Okay, the other similar divider that I'm going to bundle with this is called the quad. The quad is for drop zones. I hate drop zones. If you want to deal with them, fine. But uh, you can't rotate this one. But you'll notice that as you move the controls, the on-screen controls, the clips automatically stay centered in the background. Now you have controls here where you can scale the clips in and you can adjust uh, their vertical and horizontal layout position in here so you can animate these things in. I mean you can make this look very 60s, okay, very retro. 
with a couple of features to make animating and, you know, whatever you want to do with these. It's real easy. I hope you enjoy them, and I will catch you on the next one.